welcome to Hazen Union. I am Griffin. I'm here with Danny on camera, and we are going to be covering Hazen Union boys basketball, taking on Williamstown here. First game of the new year for Hazen. They were undefeated in uh, the season so far leading into this year. And we'll see if they can uh, continue their winning ways. Tip off here from uh, Tyler. And we've got uh, Nick Maschiti, just a freshman uh, on Williamstown. Xavier Hill brings the ball up. Let me just run through our sponsors real quick as Brendan Moody pops off a three really quick. Very nice shot by Brendan. Um, you are watching HCTV Channel 1080, www.hctv.us. We are sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We sp support Hazen Athletics. And by Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, uh, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. So we've got the uh, ball out of bounds here for Williamstown. Jaden Baker jumps into a passing lane there. Can't corral the ball before it goes out of bounds. So Hazen comes into this game with a 6-0 record. Pretty close to the top of Division Three. although Winooski also, last I checked, was undefeated, but that was a few days ago. Three-pointer by Brady Donahue of Williamstown. Ties the game up at three. Williamstown is actually a Division IV team, I believe, at this point. Moved down from Division III ranks. Um, but, wow, another big three-pointer on some really good ball movement by Hazen, by Brendan Moody. He's got six. Um, Williamstown was Division III multiple champions in the mid-2000s uh, and, and 2010s. Jump ball after a little bit of a tussle there between uh, between Williamstown and Hazen. But uh, now they are playing down in Division Three. If their JV team is anything to indicate, they're still playing really good basketball. It was a, it was a really tight, gritty JV game. Hazen was finally able to pull it away um, thanks to some really good play by, wow, another three-pointer. Uh, this time from this time from Williamstown, that's Lucas Donahue. Um, it was it was Morgan Mitchard had some really good play in the JV game. He's just pretty crafty and heady for for that age group. Mitchard on the ground finds Tyler Rivard out to Xavier. He's open for three, doesn't go. R Rivard with a big offensive board, tough to stop. He's Triple guarded and still gets to the line there. So Tyler gets to the line. Hits the first. Of course, Tyler, he is, I don't have the figures in front of me, but he is pretty close to reaching 1,000 points. He uh, needs to have a pretty good rest of the season in order to get it, but it is within his reach. And he had a 50 point outing a couple of games ago, which definitely added into it. And that's gonna be a charge. Rivard takes the charge. Hazen's been really good about that. Um, the dribbler will go around the defender get to the baseline and then whoever is underneath comes over on help defense and that on ball pressure from the side they just run right into the to the help defender and they have nowhere to go they've been able to cause a lot of turnovers and charges um, from the games that i've seen now there's a turnover here comes um brady donahue shot won't go Jaden baker with the rebound right up to tyler who's streaking down the court Pretty exciting to see your number five being able to run down the court and be in position to get that pass. It's gonna be a rebound by Lincoln, another quick pass in transition, and a beautiful ball movement, but Tyler can't put that one away. 
Nice rebound there by Brendan. Hazen's gonna reset, Brendan's open again. Almost got that one too. They're gonna be out, it's gonna be Hazen's ball off that rebound. Brendan has the green light. That's <laughs> That's been clear this, this season. Here he is open again. I mean, that's just, you can't do that. I mean, if they're gonna leave Brendan open, he's just gonna hit those, so. Here is Evan Bailey, no. Uh, number 44, Kobe Lagner, also no. Here's Tyler Rivard pushing the ball up. Brendan, they're gonna say Brendan walked. He couldn't quite get his feet set before that shot. He was a little off balance. But to have your star center who's underneath the basket, getting rebounds, getting offensive boards, putbacks, causing havoc on defense. He's also able to run, transition, and be a ball handler in transition, make good passes. That's, that's kind of an incredible player. Here's another three-pointer, this time for Williamstown. That's Lucas Donahue again. Jaden Baker to X, top of the key, back out to Jaden. Jaden's gonna take a three. No good, big offensive board by Tyler, and we've got a little extracurricular activity there, but we've got a foul. It's gonna be on Williamstown. Loose ball foul on, uh, on Brady Donahue. Xavier trying to find somebody, here's Brendan. They kick it back out to Jaden. He's got all kinds of time. Beautiful pass, nice find. Lincoln with an easy layup. Half expected Jaden to shoot that ball. He had a little bit of breathing room there, but he found even a better pass. And here he is guarding Evan Bailey out on the top of the key. Another shot, Brady, Brady Donahue. I think he's got all four, all four baskets for uh, for Williamstown and 12 points on the night. Rivard, little inside out game. Brendan just posting up on the corner there, ready for that pass, and uh, the help the defense came to try to stop Tyler and he. Had the sense to get it out to the corner. Here's Jaden Baker clogging up passing lanes. We're fighting for the ball. That's going to be a... It's gonna be a loose ball foul on Jaden. Coach Hill is pleading his case for his player. Saw a little bit of a push off. Lincoln guarding Maschiti. Maschiti just a freshman. Two freshman starters here for Williamstown. Here's Evan Bailey, back to Maschiti. Xavier getting those hands in, in the way of the pass. Hazen does a great job of just getting their hands up. Between that and how good they are in transition, they end up converting a lot of offenses, or a lot of offensive trips for the opponent. Big defense by Tyler, big rebound by Jaden. Back to Tyler. Nice dump off, easy layup for Lincoln. Great ball movement. They turn easy defensive plays into points just like that so quickly. They're able to get the ball down the court. They always are running. Everybody on the team is capable of running. Miscommunication there by Williamstown is gonna be out for Hazen now. Brendan, a little bit of breathing room. That one didn't go. Jaden with the rebound and a jumper. Fight for the rebound. This time Williamstown gets it. Forced, forced the uh, defender into no man's land on the baseline, baseline again. And that's some good hustle by Tyler. 
Tyler's going to take a break. In comes Gabe. Xavier brings it up. A little bit of a zone here from Williamstown and just great ball movement again. Real quick decision making, quick passes. Lincoln's open. The, the, the defense can't rotate as quick as Hazen can pass the ball when they're, when they're making decisions that quickly. Xavier trying to get around the screen. Had a tough time with that double screen. Uh, we wind up with a foul, and they gave that to Xavier. Lucas Donahue around the outside. Here is uh, Evan Bailey. Over to Liam Hambert, who just came into the game. He set the screen on Jaden. Ball stolen by Brendan. Brendan's looking to run. He's got some teammates. Here's Gabe, no good. Fight for the offensive board. And it's gonna be a foul on the loose ball. Gabe came in just a little too hot on that layup. So here's Bailey for Williamstown. About 30 seconds left in the first quarter. 20 to 12 for Hazen. Bailey trying to find a teammate. Gets it to Lucas Donahue on the outside. Back out to Donahue around the three-point line. Drives. Can't go baseline. Here's Evan Bailey. No good from three. Lincoln with a big board. Out to Xavier. They got some time. Here's Brendan. God. Holy crap, Brendan. 15 points already for Brendan. Brendan playing defense over here on Lucas Donahue and Williamstown doesn't even get a shot off. 23 to 12. Um, quite the score line so far, but, but really it's kind of all been, been about Brendan Moody. Um, Five three-pointers already here in the first quarter. But to be fair, a couple of those don't go in, and we've got uh, a much closer game. So Hazen is going to uh, possibly have some trouble here on their hands if they uh, if Williamstown keeps playing well. And they've been hitting a lot of three-pointers themselves. Uh, let's go through our sponsors one more time. Uh, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org, jumpstart your future. So it's been some great basketball here so far this season from Hazen. 6-0. and The girls' team's playing great, too. Uh, I think they've only picked up one loss in the season so far, so uh, Randy Lumsden's first year as head coach for them. They're doing great. Here's Jaden Baker. Inside to Tyler. Can't find him. Here's Gabe. Finds Tyler outside. Gabe does something. We've got a call. I think we've got a jump ball because I think we've got a jump ball because of some fan interference. <laughs> so Ryan Morrison is on the court now. Lincoln Mitchard is taking a break. Um, he's number 23, he's guarding on the perimeter now. Here That's gonna be no good from Williamstown. Rebound by Gabe. Jaden always looking to push. Here's Brendan. He's firing it off. Rebound by Morrison. Jumper by Rivard, no good. Here is Evan Bailey. 
Over to Wyatt, Jarvis Comey. Mm, guess that's not a walk. Here's Bailey again, behind the back. Guarded by Morrison. Open three-pointer for Williamstown, won't go. Bound is by uh, David Tom. Here's Brendan. Finds Morrison on the baseline, jumper won't go. Tyler is so tall to be able to get that rebound. Almost gets it. Here's David Tom to bring the ball up for Williamstown. Finds Bailey. Bailey, a little head fake. Liam Hebert. We're gonna go with Hebert. Bailey, guarded by Jaden. Jaden's getting a little handsy with him. Passes away from the screen. Here's David Tom, and we've got a walk on Tom. Morrison takes a, nope, Morrison's just passing the ball out. He's, he's, not, he's not going to the bench. Moody over to Gabe, over to Xavier. Back to Gabe, swing pass, Brandon Moody. No good this time, but uh, this zone is leaving him pretty open. And uh, he might light him up for 15 more this quarter if they're not careful. Tyler just swallows that pass. But then uh, Evan Bailey gets it right back. He goes inside. That's going to be a charge, I think. Again, forces the opponent to get to the baseline, and then the help defense comes. And then the dribbler has nowhere to go but right into Gabe. Moody to Gabe. Trying to get to Tyler. Tyler can't get that pass. Here's a jump ball. Xavier's going to take it out. Moody cuts to the corner. Trying to float something to Tyler. Tyler's with the chase down here with the big rebound. Tough play by Bailey to try to make that layup because he knows Tyler's right there. And that's just that's just really good athleticism for somebody who's Tyler's size. Xavier, skip pass to Brendan. He's open. No good. Xavier. Passes. Morrison. Now he's open. He'll take it. Xavier. First points of the game. He's just going to eat this zone alive if uh, if uh, these guys aren't going to be able to close out quick enough. But their passing is just so crisp. They're getting open shots basically whenever they want them. Gabe Mitchell gets in the passing lane there. He's going to go off of Williamstown. It's Hazen Ball. 4.52 left in the second. 26 to 12. I, I believe that Williamstown is scoreless this quarter, they themselves have only made, a, um, what, four points? Five points, maybe? Gabe, Jaden, skip pass to Xavier. OK, now we're figuring out. Now we're figuring out how uh, Hazen breaks the press. Gabe, Lincoln's open for a split second. Doesn't take it. Here's Gabe, Xavier. Xavier open for three. It's six for him. They just work that zone back and forth, and you can watch all five players from Williamstown moving, and they're doing their job. The problem is you get just a little bit of daylight with these three-point shooters, Xavier and Brendan, and it's just really dangerous. Good put back there by number 23. That's Nick Mesquiti. Jaden drives. Runs into a wall, can't get that layup to go, and we've got out of bounds. Off of Williamstown, so it's going to be Hazen Ball. Here's Jaden. Xavier. Back to Gabe. Williamstown recovers. Xavier's open. Good luck.
So here's Tom bringing it up for Williamstown. Tyler tries to jump that passing lane, gambled a little bit. Loose ball. Gabe fronts the post player there. Xavier's got it on the wing. He drives baseline. And we're gonna call that on the floor. I think in the NBA he's going to the line for that, but that's okay. We're not in the NBA yet. Brendan Moody comes in for Gabe. Xavier over to Tyler, off the glass. Very nice for Tyler. Here is turnover, corralled by Lincoln. Brendan, no look pass down the court to Jaden. And one, nope. But he will go to the line with Tyler. A couple of really great passes there. It's funny watching these no look passes in high school. Um, I feel like when I was in high school, if you didn't no look pass in a game, you would be doing a lot of laps in the next practice. But. It's, it's kind of, it's strategic these days. It's, it's kind of like, first of all, you have to be a great passer to be able to actually do it correctly. Um, you have to have a coach who's confident in your ability. Tyler's trying to grab that. Confident in your ability to pass and just make the pass straight up. That three pointer is way off. This one's wide open. No good. Air ball again. Aaron wants some boxing out. All kinds of defenders around number 44, Colby Lagner. And that's going to be another three this time for Brady Donahue again. And we've got a time out here by, by Coach Aaron Hill. You can see how in transition there, in that really quick little moment, the, the no-look pass by Brendan Threw off the defender just enough to make it open enough for, for uh, Tyler to get down in there. And uh, I, I believe it was Tyler who's connecting on that pass. But, like, these players are so good at, at getting into other people's passing lanes now that throwing them off by just a split second is the difference between somebody catching a pass or not catching a pass and just having an open, easy layup, especially when you're moving in transition like that and you're passing to somebody who's underneath the basket. There's a difference between doing something because it's fancy and doing something because it's effective. Here's Brendan, over to Xavier. Here's Jaden. Nice three-pointer by Jaden. David Tom. Brady Donahue back to Tom. Trying to go around Brendan Moody. Does, goes baseline. Nice floater by Tom. Xavier's pushing immediately. Brendan, uh, he did the thing where you run back because you think it's going in and it wasn't going in. And now, <laughs> now he really wants to hustle on defense. And so we've got, uh, Foul or a loose ball? I'm not sure. It's going to be a foul on, on Tyler. OK, Tyler's first loose ball foul. Brendan Moody comes out of the game. Here's Evan Bailey around the three-point line. Trying to get around Xavier. Bailey again. Xavier is right there, though. Xavier is so, he has so much height and length for somebody who's as quick as he is. He's able to be the guy who's guarding your point guard, and he's the size of your center. Here is Brady Donahue. He's been dangerous from three. Bailey. Over to Lucas Donahue. Jaden finds Xavier here in semi-transition. We're going to slow it down. Here's Jaden. Finds Xavier. Xavier's open. Got it.
They just need a little daylight and then just send it away. Lincoln all over that pass. Pono had nowhere to go, picked up his dribble, and uh, Hazen just intercepted all the passing lanes. Here is number 13, Brady Knapp for Williamstown, and that's a five second. And I mean, that's the other thing about what's going on with this team and this season and this game is just that their three-point shooting is excellent. They have great passing, but they also just hustle on defense so much. They make so many points off of turnovers, and it's so hard to get an easy basket against them. Here's Gabe. Just finds a little bit of space, tries to attack, and that's going to be a tie-up. And a jump ball. We got under 15 seconds left here in the first half. Here's Bailey bringing the ball up. He's going to be guarded by Xavier. Tries to find Hebert. Bailey walks on that fake attempt. Sid Sweet disagrees a little bit. Looked like the referee picked up on uh, feet moving a little bit. Here's Xavier, four seconds left. Dribble handoff to Brendan. Xavier has time and hits. And so Hazen goes into the locker room on a good note. 41 to 19 is your score. Brendan Moody goes into halftime with 15 points. Jaden Baker has three. Xavier Hill has 12. Tyler Rivard with four. Lincoln Mitchard with six. Probably adds up to 41. If not, I'm sorry. Um, 22, uh, 22 point lead here going into halftime for Hazen. Let me just run through our sponsors one more time, real quick. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472 5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology Career Center gmtcc.lnsd.org jumpstart your future and we will see you for the second half All right welcome back we're about to start the second half here in a minute great first half for Hazen 41 to 19 I did my math I think that I missed a free throw by Tyler. That's what I'm gonna say happened. So we're gonna put Tyler down for five. You can uh, contact the complaint department if, if you think there's some kind of discrepancy. Um, but Tyler Reaver had a five, Brendan Moody had 15, Jaden Baker three, Xavier Hill 12, Lincoln Mitchard six. As a team, I think they've hit 10 three-pointers. Ball stolen away by Colby Lagner. We start the second half here. Uh, Williamstown has an uphill climb here in front of themselves. Here is Hebert. Gets it into Lagner. Pinball underneath. We got some wrestling going on. And we're going to call a jump ball. I think that if I was a ref, I would call a lot of jump balls too. I'd look at something and just be like, I have no idea what's going on here. That must be a jump ball. Brady Donahue to pass the ball in. Here is Bailey. Just finds a little bit of breathing room. Takes a jumper from the foul line. We got a rebound stolen or torn away by Tyler. Nice little jump pass there. Moody gets it in. Lincoln's trying to fight for a basket and can't hit that one off the glass. Tough defense underneath. Uh, Williamson got back in transition there, something that they had not been able to do very well in the first half so far. So here is a reach in by Tyler. Just a second foul. 
He's playing a very physical game, but he's only got two fouls, so. Either he's keeping it under control or he's getting lucky, or maybe a little both. Here's Evan uh, Bailey. Lucas Donahue. I think I'm mixing up my Donahues. There's two Donahues on Williamstown. There's been a bunch of three pointers scored by Donahues. Um, that's going to be a travel on Liam Hebert. Xavier brings the ball up. He's guarded by Evan uh, Bailey. Triple handoff. That's going to be a travel on uh, Brendan Moody as he went around the defenders there. Got his feet a little bit tangled up. Still scoreless in this first half. Jaden playing aggressive defense on Bailey. Bailey's trying to get around him. Picks up his dribble. Tries to find... Brady Donahue, that jumper won't go. Jaden with uh, a rebound attempt. Free throw line shot by Colby Lagner. To start off the scoring in the second half here. Xavier dribbles into a mess. Here's Brendan out to Xavier again. He's open. It's gonna be 15 for Xavier. 11 three-pointers scored by Hazen tonight so far. And that is a really effective way to tackle a zone. Good ball movement, find somebody open, and just start shooting when you get a little bit of breathing room. Rebounded by Brady Donahue, he gets inside. The defense was kind of all in sorts there. And so Brady Donahue is going to go to the line. Gabe in for Xavier. Yeah, I realized that partway through the first quarter, I was I was talking about how how many three pointers Donahue had. But Thing is, there's two of them out there, so I don't know who to attribute to them to. I can barely, I can barely keep track of one team scoring. I'm not going to try the second team scoring. Here's Lincoln. He is bowls his way underneath. Tyler collapses in, gets a big offensive rebound, fouled on the way up. The basket's good. That's an and one for Tyler. And he connects. So by my count, that's eight for Tyler Rivard. That's going to be a foul on Jaden. Got his legs tangled up with uh, number 12, Evan Bailey of Williamstown. And we got a called timeout here by Sid Sweet of Williamstown. 47 to 22. is the score right now with five minutes left to go in the third quarter. The three-point shooting has been great, but beyond that, uh, Hazen just playing really good ball movement, finding open holes in the zone. You can tell that Williamstown is playing their zone like well. They, these teams that play zone are usually like pretty good at it, and they're moving around as one unit, doing a pretty good job. Um, but in the first quarter, Brendan Moody just kept finding open shots, or rather maybe his teammates kept finding Brendan open for open shots and, and hit those. In the second quarter, it was Xavier and Jaden Baker hitting the threes. Speaking of threes, there's an attempt by Brady Donahue and he was left all alone out there. Xavier in transition. Brendan Moody not able to get that. Here is Evan Bailey. Gabe collapses on that passing lane. Here's Brendan bringing the ball up quickly, trying to find Xavier. Just a little bit of out of his reach.
Be Williamstown ball. Here is Liam Hebert trying to wrap around um, Lincoln and can't. Brendan in transition. That's a tough layup for Brendan to try to make there. And we've got all kinds of bodies flying around. Xavier gets an open look. No good. Tyler with the rebound. Tries to get the rebound. And goes off of Williamstown. In comes, um, this is going to be Sully Laflamme for Hazen. See in his first minutes of the game. Brendan, I've seen in previous games, when he gets into a, a situation where he's trying to make a layup and, and somebody's guarding him, is taller than him from behind, he has to kind of contort his body and get the, his body between himself and the defender. And lots of times he can make those. Here he is, quick shot, nice little floater. Like, when you are shorter than the people guarding you, it kind of changes up what you have to do. Like, he had no hesitation on that floater because he didn't have time to set a better shot because somebody's going to come over and be taller than him is going to make his shot really hard. So you take a floater, which is a little bit tougher than a normal jump shot, but um, it gives you the time to actually get to it. Good defense by Hazen here. Bailey. Fronting Xavier. Xavier's got a little bit of breathing room now. In transition. Drives in, and they're going to... I guess they're going to call that a charge on Xavier. Okay. Williamstown defender gambled. Xavier got in there. Um, going downhill. And the help defender must have had, a seat, had his feet set. So here's Williamstown. Here's Evan Bailey to Wagner. And we've got out of bounds off of Hazen. The Williamstown ball. 27 point lead right now for Hazen. 313 left in the third. 49 to 22. David Tom is fouled by Brendan on a reach. So you feel comfortable with 27 point lead, but one of the things that can really kind of put a dent into it that you don't want is if you pick up these chippy little fouls. Hazen's already got five fouls here in the third quarter. We're about to, uh, three minutes left in the third quarter. And pretty quickly, we'll be into the bonus. And so Hazen has to, there's a little runner by David Tom for Williamstown. Hazen's gonna have to, Gabe. <laughs> Xavier is just having none of that. <laughs> instantaneously looking for an open person under the basket. He gets the ball and he just, where's the basket? Where's the open player? But an excellent play there. Uh, Lagner with the tip rebound. He gets another big offensive board. Can't make that one go. Rebounded by Gabe. Here's Xavier again, semi-transition. Euro step, won't go. Here's Xavier underneath. Xavier loses the ball. It's going to be picked up and put in by Evan Bailey. So Xavier again. Brendan Moody not quite good on that three, but we got a jump ball by Tyler on that offensive board. But again, like when, when Williamstown scores, Xavier is just pushing the ball immediately and finding open looks. Like that's a high percentage shot for Brendan that they just got because Xavier is out there working hard. Uh, we've got out of bounds off of Tyler, trying to get through the defenders there. A little bit clogged up under the basket. Bailey for Williamstown, over to Brady Donahue. Donahue's open. 
Sully Lafleur left him open just a little bit too long. Xavier again pushing. Here's Sully. Tries to get it to uh, Tyler and he can't. And we've got a timeout on that loose ball. High energy game here at Hazen. 51 to 29, minute and 24 left in the third quarter. Williamstown trying to mount a little bit of a run. And um, Hazen trying to protect that foul amount so they don't get into the bonus. Still got the whole fourth quarter to play. So here's Xavier, passing the ball in. And they've got a kind of a, I think they call this a box and one, where they're playing a zone. Here's Xavier for three, hits. By my count, that's 18 for Xavier so far. Uh, they're playing a box and one, where they're just gonna try to not let, they're playing a normal zone, but they want Brendan to not be open. Gabe. Gets that passing lane behind the back dribble, but loses it. And now Leland sounds off to the races. Here's Tom. Pass was a little errant there, so he wasn't able to get that shot off. Blocked by Xavier. Real calm, cool block. And we got a kickball here by Williamstown. In comes Brady Knapp for uh, for Williamstown. Tyler seals off Brady Knapp. Easy bucket on the inbounds. They really don't come very much easier than that, but Tyler's just so good at getting position underneath the basket. Send all the other players out on that, on that inbound pass, and he's just got himself in the basket to work with. Here's Knapp trying to turn around on Tyler. Kicks it back out. David Tom. Here is Wyatt Jarvis Comey for Williamstown. This might be his first minutes of the game. A little pick and roll. He's going to bring it back out. We're kind of uh, backing ourselves into a corner here, but here's David Tom. Brendan Moody got a hand on it. Tyler, whew, buzzer beater was pretty close. And so we go into the fourth quarter, 56 to 29 is the score right now. Guys, I gotta admit, I think I lost track of the scoring, but this is what I've got. Brendan Moody, 15. Might've missed some of those. Jaden Baker with three, Xavier Hill with 18, Tyler Revard with eight. No, I think I missed some of Tyler's points too. And Lincoln with six. I think I've been missing points. We're gonna we're gonna be done with the with the point tally. The only points that matter is 56 to 29 for Hazen as they go into this fourth quarter here. Looking to continue this lead and win streak. We are sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And by Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. So on the floor for Hazen, we've got Xavier, we've got Tyler, Brendan, Lincoln, and that is Morrison. Yeah, that's Ryan Morrison. And so, uh, continuing with some of the starters here for Hazen. Bailey for Williamstown, he's guarded by Xavier. Over to Locarno. Bailey Knapp, he's guarded by Lincoln. 
We got another jump ball. So Jaden is going to take the place of Brendan. So at this point in the game, I, I wonder what is sometimes what's going through the strategy here for uh, for Coach Aaron Hill. Because, I mean, at some point you can start to, to clear the benches, put some of your bench players in, get them some minutes. Tyler wide open underneath. Nice find by Jaden Baker. Good, good uh, movement without the ball for Tyler. Um, the other thing is, though, you know, maybe – what you want to do, and we're, we're Hazen played a lot of blowouts this year. Played a lot of third and fourth quarters without their starters. Lincoln, nice layup in transition. That's quite the pass by Jaden Baker. I believe that was by Jaden Baker. And what are you? So what? What are you planning for here? And I think that when you get into the playoff run. You're not going to be able to utilize your bench. And these players, your starters, Tyler stripped at the very end by, uh, by number 12, Evan Bailey, in transition. You're not going to be able to bench your starters in a close game um, like, uh, like, we, like Hazen has been at the beginning of this year. So you need to get them some Tyler easily under the basket there on that inbound. You need to get them some game experience in situations where they're late and they're tired. That's one thing that uh, Coach Mike Baker told us. And maybe it was Coach Travis Hill told us a long time ago, uh, ages and ages ago when I was in high school, is that you not, there's one thing to be able to make a shot or make a pass or dribble the ball. It's another thing to be able to do all that effectively when you're tired because at the end of the game, you're going to be tired and you still need to be able to make those plays. You can't just like, oh, I don't feel like playing the fourth quarter. It's going to be a push on Jaden Baker. So that's foul number six. Um, and so by keeping in, Jaden is going to hit the bench here uh, for Sully LaFlam, but by keep, keeping in Tyler and Xavier, and Lincoln, your, your, your players are getting that late game um, experience, or not even that it's a late game situation, like a close game. It's just that they've been playing for a while. Got a tie up by number 23, Nick Mesquiti. Here's Xavier. Tyler Rebard underneath the basket. Moves to his left, offensive rebound. He's the only person on the left side of the basket because nobody can get in between him and the basket to box out. Easy bucket by Tyler. Well, for Tyler. It'd probably be tough for you or me. Tyler's ready to absorb that contact. Faces up, plays good defense, boxes out. Rebound by rebound by Lincoln, but it's going to go to Williamstown because he was out of bounds diving for that ball. So Lagner was had his back to the basket, like a good couple feet away from Tyler, and Tyler was just ready for him to back in. Xavier. Trying to guard uh, Evan Bailey, but Bailey gets that shot off and banks it in for three. Sully out to Xavier. Here's Lincoln. Here's Xavier. They're running a play where uh, the center, running these screens. That's going to be a foul on Williams now. Running these screens underneath the basket, uh, you could see Gabe setting a screen so that Xavier could go around, and when he wraps around Xavier's defender, he's right underneath the basket, and that player on the wing has a nice, easy, open sh open look to him. No look pass by Xavier. That is just a really high quality play. It's easy to just be like, oh, well, I forgot to, you forgot to guard that guy. That's why he was so open, but uh, Morrison was so open because Xavier was just completely looking the other direction. They guarded everybody that he was looking at. Xavier, another nice pass. Sully. Good move by Sully. 
it's really easy to just get that up and just get stuffed. And he knew that somebody was coming. So he let him fly by. We've got a foul away from the ball on Donahue, Brady Donahue from Williamstown. So Hazen has just been able to play the type of ball that they want. They want to be in transition. They want to be moving without the ball. Lincoln couldn't find Gabe over there because the defender had his hands up so well. Morgan trying to find Lincoln. Morgan Mitchell in the game for the first time. I want to say the first time. Morgan did a great job in the JV game. Very nice to have Morgan in the JV game. He's kind of a calming, calming presence as Evan Bailey nails another three for Williamstown. He's like, <laughs> don't call, I guess. He's just calm. He knows what to do. He's in the right place at the right time. There's a nice feed under the basket to Morrison. Um, but yeah, Morgan is a, is a varsity level player, not really for his athleticism or his height or anything. Just because he's smart, he's heady, he's in the right place at the right time. They're going to get him for a foul, though. And that is going to put us into the bonus. So we were at five fouls with three minutes left in the third. So they went a full quarter of time with only committing two fouls. So pretty good. I mean, you just have to adjust yourself a little bit when you're when you're reaching that um, reaching that bonus. And I mean, okay, a 70 to 36 game, probably not actually that much to concern yourself with, but it's something that you need to think about. I mean, every one of these games is practice for when you're in Barry. You don't really win the game. You don't win the title in January, but you can certainly lose the title in January. Evan Bailey sizing up Morgan, gets a little bit of separation. I guess we're not going to call that a, not a push off. But it's tough. They're, everybody's being physical right now. Morgan was out of bounds. Folks, I mixed up my metrics. I'm sorry. That was that was uh, that was Gabe who was flying out of bounds. Morgan was off doing something else. <laughs> this one's Morgan. He's guarding Bailey. Closes out on Bailey again. Bailey finds. I don't have a number for him. Number 14, Carter Cochran. And we got a three-pointer by Brady Donahue again. So here's Sully. Morrison is so open. When Hazen pushes the pace like that, you only you really only need a couple of those easy buckets for it to be worth it to just do it every time. That's just free points, so you might as well just push the basket up, basketball up semi quickly when you get the chance like that. Here is Wagner, and no foul. He just fell over. A lot of bodies underneath the basket. Here's Sully. Sully guarded by Bailey. Behind the back, loses Bailey. That leaves Morgan open. He gets the ball down to Morrison. Morrison, and one. No, we're gonna call it. We're gonna call an offensive foul on that one. Okay. You know, sometimes I think about it as like um, when you're playing Mario Kart and you're in last place, you get all the good items, you get all the blue shells and stars and mushrooms, and so that might be a little bit of what's going on with the uh, with the officiating. 
Call could have maybe gone the other way, but it went Williamstown's way. It's okay. Um, good defense there by Hazen Clapton on that. Passing lane in comes Liam Drikovic for Hazen. We got another sub here for Williamstown. Here's Sully. Gabe gets around the defender. Oh, he gets back though. In time, it's Carter Cochran. But it's going to send Gabe to the line. Got a minute 23 left, 74-43. For Hazen, but a tough play game. Um, they got to face a zone, and a pretty effective zone. And so they got that under their tool belt. Gained some experience points there. Gabe misses his first free throw. And hits the second. So Hazen hits the clean quarter century here, 75 to 43. Morgan slams into a big screen. Here's Cochran. Around to 23, Nick Muscotti. No, sorry, that's 33, Liam Hebert. Hmm. David Tom being subbed in for Williamstown. We've got a minute seven left in the game. Morgan guarding Tom. Tom gets around the defenders. Running jumper there, no good. Here's Sully, trying to get around Cochran. Good crossover, gets inside, and gets to the line. Cochran recovered well again, but again wasn't quite able to make that block clean. This foul, I guess, was not on Cochran. He was there, it was on number 21 whose number is a mystery in the program. So. Sully on the second hit, but he was on the line. That's the second time, uh, boy, was it? No, I think it was in another varsity game that I was watching on TV. Um, where a, a Hazen player had their foot on the line for a free throw. It's something I don't know if I've ever seen it other than that game and I just saw it again. So here is a foul, we're gonna say, against Williamstown on Gabe as he's trying to keep his balance and not fall out of bounds. Got a rebound here by Carter Cochran. Off the missed free throw. Tom hits the defenders, makes the bucket with the contact. The, uh, I think the clock is not running. We forgot to hit the start button on the clock. So now we're going to figure out what happens about that. But uh, All right. Hazen ball, 20.6 we're going to call it. Not very scientifically. These guys are fast. I can imagine it was only 10 seconds. Here's Gabe, and he gets followed by Cochran. Oh, 
So we've seen some really good basketball from Hazen. They've played a bunch of home games already. I want to say this is like maybe their fourth home game uh, that we've covered on HCTV, and they've all been great. Great showings, anyway, for Hazen. Of course, they've won them all, but... Um, but you can catch them all online, hctv.us, at the end of the season. They also um, are all accessible by password, so you can watch them on Vimeo. And uh, it's great TV. It's better than anything on Netflix if you want to binge watch. You can watch a whole basketball season. David Tom working on Morgan. Here is number 10, uh, Ethan Talley. Tom with a fadeaway, no good. Morrison big board. Finds an outlet pass, and we're done. <laughs> okay, 76 to 45 is your final here from Hazen Union. Hazen defeats Williamstown. They're gonna move to seven and zero. Looking good to start off 2023, the beginning stages of this Division III basketball season. We are sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and by Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. I'm Griffin, Danny on camera. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time.